I would like to read one of my own uh, poems at this point. Here it is. Lovelies. Let our frail thoughts dally with false surmise. In trenches big enough for two lovers and a machine gun, I changed chance into a synonym for the sun. No, not one, but many skies. With a shrill whistle, the referee called time. And back to the bench they went, their previous triumphs forgotten, their pious guilt remembered, by generals bereft of a reasonable war. I changed chance into a rhyme for more. Light, less light, less than a little light was left. Under the circumstances did it pay to advertise. Seduced by the words, the sky was filled with the absence of birds. Take off your glasses, take me by surprise. Let our frail thoughts dally with false surmise. Open your eyes. When the birds of February escape into March, and the trees prepare to don the disguise by which alone they can be recognized, I shall change chance into an idol and break it. Reluctant to change shape, the caterpillar slinks away. The cobra consents to dance. It's already hard to remember who won, though the piece has just begun. Suspending our disbelief, perhaps we'll see the career of a tree in a single fallen leaf. Don't bet on it. There's work to be done in trenches big enough for two lovers and a machine gun. Close your eyes. Obeying laws of its own, the elevator will stop on every floor, its steady rise inevitable. On every floor, a different century clicks into place. 30 seconds, and then it's gone. With our bandaged binoculars, what could we see? In an age of poverty, what could be done? I shall divine your every wish, the waiter says, proffering the dish of pearls and amethysts he has chanced upon. I changed chance into a synonym for the sun. The anxious sun, pride of the parish, dies in a capsized canoe. The nude resumes her place on the couch now that the revolution, like a boulder swallowed by the ocean, has ended in a splash seen by no one. Such falsehoods run true to form is lose the opposite of find or of win. The question has launched a thousand lies. There is, in fact, nothing to fear except for the strangeness of being here, since the sun, like a guillotined orange, has begun to rise. No, not one, but many stars. Without further ado, Matthew Yeager. Hi, everyone. Um, so I'm going to read, uh, I'm going to put this down. Um, neither of the, the, the two poems that were selected for, for Best American Poetry um, fit in the, uh, in the allotted time slot. Um, they're both long poems. Um, I'm going to read um, a part of Two parts of Jar Balloons or the Uncooked Rice, which is the, uh, the long list of questions poem, uh, poem. and uh, and I'm going to read uh, parts that were not um, in in West American poetry. Um, I think they took the first uh, nine pages, if it's in a in a word doc, and it's uh, it's about 37 pages long. I, I printed it a little smaller than I, I probably should have. Um, all right, so I'll just I'll just begin, and uh, and these are just all questions that hopefully everyone has an answer to. Macs or PCs? Do you finish most books you start, or do they lay around on coffee tables and nightstands, open, face down, slowly deforming? Do you take good care of your things? Have you ever had an injury from sleeping oddly? Do you belong to any online friend networks, or has that box where you're asked to cram yourself into 200 words always been too intimidating? Are you very, or would you be, if you let yourself? Harry, where, if you have a choice, do you like to sit when at the movies, toward the front or toward the back? Do you like to turn around and look at the shining, wrapped faces? 
Do you like watching people watch tennis, the uniformly turning faces? When did you learn to tie shoelaces? Do you remember when three o'clock was the most important time? Boxers or briefs, if such applies. What is the worst injury you've ever sustained at a beach? Do you like to go in? Do you like going around shirtless or going around in bathing suits? Or are you secretly electric with nerves? As far as places you've been, if you are tallying the list for sheer pleasure, for the sheer pleasure of a large number, do airports count? Shoes with Velcro, ever owned any? Who do you think has more friends, me or you? When indoors and too warm, is your impulse to blame the room or fear of fever? Is a lack of exterior corridors how you go about judging a motel? Have you more often stayed in hotels or motels? Have you ever walked along a highway for reasons other than a broken down car? Is there any ordinary walk more desolate than the longer than you'd think walk between huge joined chain stores, such as between a Best Buy and a Home Depot, where you vacillate as to whether to drive, but don't, because it's all the same parking lot? Have you, have you ever sharpened a knife? As a teenager, did you loiter? A lot? What is the longest you've ever gone without speaking to another human? You think you could go a week? Whom have you caused the greatest joy? Who has hurt you the worst? When is the last time you purchased pornography? Do you tend towards pigeon-toed or penguin-footed? Did you ever purchase cliff notes? Do people generally listen to you or ignore you? Are you vigilant about seat belts? Do you currently own any balls? Peppermint or spearmint? Which do you find increases more rapidly? Your age or your idea of what age is old? Why does it feel like such a victory, just remembering certain instances? certain people. Do you set your watch at the, at the exact time or ahead? If ahead, do you find you simply subtract the difference, thus making the point of setting your watch ahead irrelevant? Do you mess with things, such as a watch's tiny winding knob, just thumbnail it out, then thumbnail it in? Do you ever mess with the button inside the fridge that makes the light go off and on, just press it flat a few times? Does your weight go up and down or stay the same? What roller coasters, generally, is your mental health strapped into? Have you ever been caught in the act of sex? Were you secretly proud? When was the last time you ran as fast as you possibly could? You can recall when you've been pooped on by birds, no? Do you ever find yourself, particularly when dressed up, tallying up the total cost of all you have on? When naked, do you ever think zero? Do you say... <laughs> Do you say take a shower or have a shower? Is like your vocal tick or is it you know? At what age did you buy your final pair of cleats? Does scrawling your name on a screen when you pay by card scare you as if they might think you are a forger? In what grade in school did people begin to date? Were you in on this? If you had to dispose of a dead body, how would you? Who is your least judgmental friend? Do you own, or have you ever owned, leather pants? Is there anything to whom you can tell everything? Can you sing any songs a cappella from beginning to end? Do you like being followed around a house by an animal and then stopping, saying, hands on hips, what are you looking at, little fellow? <laughs> Do you prefer being the more loved or the more loving, the hunter or the hind? How many dogs, alive right now, do you know by name? What is the first website you go to after you check your email? Who of those you know personally has had the shortest marriage? What is the oldest couple you know that has gotten divorced? Aren't old age divorces especially sad? Did you know that Robert Frost loved gossip and was secure enough as an old man to admit it? Do leather belts, when the excess isn't tucked into a belt loop, confuse you into thinking they're exposed penises. <laughs> you then try to sneak back into that unknowing place and continue trying to see them as 2D penises. Two-piece bathing suits are one, again, if such applies. Are you more of an exhibitionist or a voyeur? But the sight of yourself having sex in a mirror is exhilarating, no? Is there any furniture of your parents, clock, an antique chair, crystal bowl that you've had your eye on for most of your remembered life? When you see an old man or woman in a supporting role at a film's outset, do you immediately begin thinking, well, 
It's a given this one is going to die. Is it really a bad thing that most films are predictable as little in life is? All right, and then we're going to move along here. Let me keep going and going and going. Do you begin to think of yourself as a year older before your birthday? If so, how many days or weeks or months before? Do you not mind when dogs lick your face? If, or do you mind if dogs lick your face? If not, will you pretty much let any non-stray dog lick your face? What websites do you like? Have you ever flown first class? Do you ever fantasize about returning with your present abilities to a situation where your lack of those abilities caused you shame or just ordinariness? What is your favorite month? Are there businesses that you boycott? Were you a real go-getter when it came to selling raffle tickets, raising money, securing magazine subscriptions? Among relatives, who is the biggest lowlife? How tall was your dad? When, you're when you sense your breath is bad, do you exhale into your cupped hand, then attempt to sniff with your nose? <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but the cold showers you've been forced to take have survived in memory, have they not? From top to bottom, off the top of your head, are traffic lights red, yellow, green, or green, yellow, red? Do you know who knows things like that? How frequently do you say your own name, followed by is dead, is dead, in the imagined voices of sorrowful friends? <laughs> do you find this weirdly exhilarating? How many people right now know exactly where you are? None? Do you like putting things in order? Do you seek to describe your dreams to others? How's your gut? Are you right about people? About whom have you been wrong? Regarding underwear and socks, do you replace piece by piece or every two or three years overhaul the whole drawer? How much tolerance do you have for coincidence? At what point, I mean, will religious thoughts kick in? Any authors whose work you've read every single published word of? Have you ever dated multiple people with the same first name? Have you ever saved a bottle cap so as to keep tabs on your beer drinking? Do you like finding evidence of things you do, like movie ticket stubs folded in your wallet from a movie you saw months ago, or perhaps a menu from a friend's wedding in a suit pocket that causes you to suddenly remember exactly what you ate on a day three years ago? Have you ever liked an ID photo so much you kept the ID, or become indignant at the fact that you had to give it back at the end of the experience for which it was needed? Do you generally know what to do? Somebody who went to grade school with you must die violently. Who will it be? Do you own a radio that's only a radio? Do you mop floors or scrub on all fours? Do you like making single tall stacks, such as of Oreos or poker chips? How distinct from one another are your days? Are there, I mean, activities that you only perform on certain ones, such as how, as a child on energetic Saturday mornings, you might have watched cartoons, then played baseball? Or on Sunday mornings might have loved a newspaper big as a login or gone to church. Did you go to church and do the whole stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down thing as a child? Then later had a stiffer, more formal dinner as clouds like cloud icons and weather reports, homework, a bully, a huge crush, reappeared to smudge your bright ideas of Monday. They give each day of the week a character that although woven together with too many factors for a source to be fingered is nonetheless there, existent, a certain Sundayness or Saturdayness or somewhat blander Wednesdayness that reveals itself in comments such as, I know it's a Tuesday but all day it's felt like a Thursday or this Sunday really feels like a Sunday. In other words, do you have a routine? Do you like this routine? Do you think you could be happy without this routine? With the routine of having a non-routine? How long does it take you to learn a grocery store? Have you ever been to Africa or Asia? Isn't it an odd feeling to see a building or a house that you've never seen, despite having passed by it literally hundreds of times? How does this make you feel? That because a simple act, such as fitting your key into your door and jiggling it with the necessary jiggle does not add to, but rather disappears like a thief into a crowd of thieves into the hundreds of times you've performed this identical act that you can't help but keep missing something. And what is that thing? How important is it that you find it? Do you scale from one to 10? How many times have you seen It's a Wonderful Life Roughly. <laughs> do, you have the, do you ever have the desire to organize your experiences by, say, 
photographing every bed in every hotel you've ever slept in, or every cluttered coffee table you've ever spent a talk-filled night around, or every bar stool you've sat on long enough to warm. And what would this accomplish, this endless compiling? Would it matter that there'd never be time to sort through the stacks? Or is the important thing simply that the stacks be there, to be tipped over, then righted and squared with soft, short, parallel palm pushes? At which fast food establishment, other than McDonald's, have you had the most meals? Ever been skinny dipping? Which do you think is more infectious, a whisper or a yawn? Which do you think is more irresistible, a window or a mirror? What about a piano in a room with a dusty shaft of sunlight and no one to forbid you? But isn't it a shame? Isn't it actually a tragedy that the bulk of life, save for the occasional placked fish, once caught, noticed, must be thrown back in? How old were you when you first felt the need for a filing cabinet? Pine or lemon-scented cleaning solutions? Are you a believer in holistic medicine? Are you a believer in just about everything? Have you ever ridden a motorcycle? Do you dream about having your problems opposites? A place so large you feel lost, small. The one that won't pick up her phone ever, driving you mad, burning your cheek with her chatter. Why is there pleasure in pressing a piano key so softly there is no sound? Generally, do you try to solve problems by embracing them or eradicating them? Do you think I should wind down now? Any memorable sunsets you'd like to throw in? Or is there no need to remember sunsets because today's is or was or will be orange enough and with the right mellowness? Any friends named Andy? Any friends named Bob? What is your expression for preparing to exit? Folding up shop? Breaking down? Which questions will, re will you remember? Which will you forget? Are you ticklish? Will you forgive me if you feel the need for this mess? When someone apologizes, are you quick to accept?